Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to talk about graphing a radical function using transformation. First of all, let's take a look at the transformation. There are some transformation we can call them rigid transformation. We move down k units, move up k units, move right k units, move down uh, left k units. This one is going to reflect over the x axis. This one is going to reflect over the y-axis. All these are called rigid transformation because they do not change the shape of square root of x, which looks something like that. Right? <clears throat> However, we do have some other transformation, which we call them uh, non-rigid transformation. This one, uh, this one changed the shape. The graph is going to be bended. And you're going to see some example in this video clip. <laughs> so let's first take a look to this example. We need to find the equation of the graph that is uh, shifted three units left and seven units up. It looks like this. So this is the square root of x, and this one is move three left, seven up. What will be the equation? Y equal square root three units left x plus plus. 3 and 7 units up plus 7. This is the equation that goes with the red graph. You do this one. This is the equation for number two, and that is the graph for number two. Okay, two units right, five units down. And this one we have one more transformation over the x-axis: uh, four units right, two units up. So y equal square root of x. If you remember, is the parent graph. How we reflect over the x-axis. So let's go back here, and if you do not remember, it's right here, reflected over the x-axis. So we have to put a negative in front of the square root of x. So here we're going to have negative square root of, and again we have four units right, all right? So that means we go towards the positive number, that is going to be x minus 4 and vertical shift of 2 units up. This should be the equation and this is the uh, graph. We see it right here. Reflected, reflected over the x-axis, then it's move 4 units right to up. Okay, reflected for right to up. Pause this video clip and try number four. So this is the equation for a graph that is reflected over the x-axis, okay, reflected over the x-axis, move left three units, and one unit down. So this is, should be something like that, the final graph, we can see it here, right? What about this one? Eh? This one is a little bit different. Y-axis, four units right, and a vertical shift of two units up. Now let's go back on the first slide and look at here. Y-axis. Y-axis. Eh? On that one, we have this negative x inside of square root. So, how are we going to handle that? 
little bit here, square root. And I put a negative, and now be careful, horizontal shift of four units right. So four units right means towards a positive number, we're gonna subtract four plus two, because it's two units up. So again, be careful with this part. And that graph is this one, okay? Try this one. If you have this equation, you should get this red graph. What about this one? Uh, three units left. We know how that is by now, I think. Uh, seven units up. Stretch factor. We have a stretch factor. Uh, if you remember stretch factor, that means it's changing the shape. Yeah. This is the parent graph. A stretch factor of two will be over two in front. Right? And that we'll see in the picture. In fact, let's see the picture. It's right here. Uh, you see the uh, graph of the uh, square root is push it towards the uh, y-axis, right? Now what is the equation for that gentleman? y equal, again, 2, right? The stretch factor is very important. Square root of 3 units left. Okay, you see 3 units left, x plus 3, and 7 units up. Plus 7. This is the equation that you're going to get you're going to have to put together the uh, red graph or the blue graph. You try this one. And this is the equation for number 8. And this is the graph. Another one that you see the bending goes towards the y-axis and we get this red graph by just moving after that one unit right and three units down. Uh, number nine. Number nine we have a different radical uh, function. This is a cubic root. Okay, The parent graph of a cubic root looks something like that. This is y equals cubic root of x. So uh, the one we're looking for is shifted three units to the left, right? So we're going to have the same cubic root shifted uh, three units to the left. So we're going to have plus three, right? But it goes towards the negative number and vertical shift of seven units up. So it's the same story like the other the square root function the only difference we have this index of 3 which gives us the cubic root there you go you can see it here uh, this is the graph of the one we're looking for and this is the parent graph this is the cubic root of x pause this one and try number 10 This is the equation for number 10, and you see it here, it's moved 2 units right and uh, 5 units down. If you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button, alright, and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.